Hello everyone, I'm just going to talk you through some of my experiments with 3D printed springs and spring mechanisms, not in the traditional form of a compressor spring, a compression spring, but um, in the form of this kind of torsion spring here. Um, so I designed these ball bearing tweezers to pick up ball bearings and they were they're pretty good. I've, I've actually used them, I've printed them and used them and they work pretty well. Ball bearing is caught at the front and then you've got these pads here to put your fingers on that help you press the, the, the kind of arms together. But mainly it's this spring that works really really well. So this uh, larger part across the top if that was there by itself without anything else it probably wouldn't last very long it might crack because it, it 3d printed parts can be quite brittle but uh, with this addition of a little kind of thinner wavy bracket on the inside that's supposed to take up a lot of the flex that also helps as well and it creates a really good spring back effect so let's have a look at the sketch so the sketch what I did was I created these lines here with the spline tool and just mirrored it f across the x-axis so that it was equal either side, it was symmetrical and it works pretty well so I'll just show you my printed result and just demonstrate them working so here we go, this is my this is what I printed off, this is just normal PLA and you can see that the action there springs back pretty well and that spring takes up a lot of the tension and then releases it again and the ball bearing can be picked up pretty well I printed this with a 0.3 millimeter nozzle to get to really get the detail in the on the uh, end of the arms okay so that's one thing that I've been experimenting with and I'm currently working on this here and I've not finished it yet but I want this to be like a modular spring so you might be able to use this if you need anything that pivots and springs back into place you might be able to use this to in any project you might just be able to drop it straight in so I was designing this and I'm going to just take this top lid it's kind of two halves it's, it's made like a shell and if we spin it round you can't really see inside apart from this viewing window in the side here um, but if I take the top lid off uh, look just like this select this move hopefully that will move the whole thing no it just moved the <laughs> moved the top I need to select the body move drag it up okay so underneath we've got a kind of curling spring it's uh, it wraps around a few times created a spiral and I've got a video on creating spirals if that interests you at all and this spring in here it, it's held in the center so it can't move and then the external bit the the furthest furthest out part of the spring hooks into the top lid so that's what creates the springing effect the difference between the bottom lid and the top lid and this takes up a lot of the tension with it being quite thin um, and pliable and it uh, it's pretty it's pretty springy so I printed a, a prototype version of one of those this is this still hasn't been properly finished yet and I'm gonna work a little bit more on this but if you think it might be useful for you just let me know and I'll um, I'll uh, I'll finish one off for you, and and you can you can have a look at it on Thingiverse. All of the, my models are on Thingiverse. If you want to check the link below, but this is the the prototype spring, and you can see if I hold this in the center, it has got a lot of spring, and it wants it wants to go back to the, its normal position. So I think there's a lot of potential for 3D printed spring parts. If you can think of any other ways to use them, please let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.